Well, I think we felt like the film, you know, dealt with relationships from kind of a new angle, but actually, you know, revealed a lot that's very, um, you know, honest, and honest and truthful about relationships. Uh, and I think, you know, I think you've gone, you know, but Zoe, I think, had a lot of experience by the time she was 26. Uh, she can tell you, but. Um, you know, and then we brought our own experience to it, and everyone kind of brings that to the to the party. But uh, we were just excited to kind of um, see this story that we have seen before, the Pygmalion myth, and get to kind of take it a little bit further than maybe it's been done in, in films before, anyway. Describing what it was. That's it's good. Wow. Yeah. No, what we like about this film is it's not really a romantic comedy. Um, it's something different someone described it as a mix between Annie Hall and Frankenstein so you know <laughs> we like to think of it as sort of a genre bending film you know it, it may feel a little bit like a romantic comedy but then I think it goes to places that most romantic comedies don't go so um, but then I think in the end uh, it's it doesn't leave you completely depressed at the end either so um, well I I like that this film doesn't pull its punches you know there are things that are said in the movie that I think all men feel and maybe don't like to admit um, but I, I think it ultimately you know is a hopeful message about the way we all get along and uh, you know I think I think audiences men will certainly identify but I think women will you know hopefully feel like they're properly represented <laughs> definitely